Well, meet over 250-year-old Lee Chin Yun. This picture was taken back in way back in 1933, and uh, he's a true medical professional in my book, and highly, highly respected in my book because. You know, sometimes I'm very critical of American doctors because I'm not sure if they're really doctors or they're just out for money or whatever the hell they're doing. But, you know, it's different. It's a mixed bag. You know, with the medical profession, it's a mixed bag. But this guy was a true medical healer to the max, and he's allegedly lived to be 256 years old. Uh, this was taken in 1933. He died not much longer after that. But um, I'm going to go over the Wikipedia article. But, you know, my point on this actually is... You know, some of the things I talk about with the herbs, a little bit goes a long way. I, I'm not going to make major claims on it, but, you know, a little bit does go a long way. Sometimes you're missing a small amount of something. It makes all the difference in the world how long you live. And also, it's attitude, positive attitude, and everything like that. Don't let the meanies get you, right? Yeah, like, uh, you know, some of the... Control freaks up there on the top actually are probably going to live very short lives because they have negative energy all the way. Believe me, they probably will. But anyway, uh, this is a Wikipedia article, and uh, I'm going to go over some of the things on it, just some of the highlights. But uh, this is one of my theories, too, about I don't really don't know how long people can live. They could probably live a lot longer than they think in perfect health without being like... Uh, pumped up on pharmaceuticals, but just because this guy, Li Ching Yun, never took a pharmaceutical. It was all herbal, so the natural stuff. He was claimed to be born in 1736, but some disputed records suggest it's 1677. Both alleged lifespans of 197 years and 256 years far exceed the longest confirmed lifespan of 122 years and 164 days of French woman Jean Club Calment, Calmen, but actually without the T. So, in 1930, 1930, New York Times article, Professor Wu Ching Chai, whatever it is, of Chengdu University discovered imperial Chinese government records from 1827 congratulating one Li Ching Yun on his 150th birthday. So, he was 150 back in 1827. So, in 1933, he was 256. Right, so further documents later found were uh, congratulating him on his 200th birthday in 1877. So, so he was an herbalist. He was an herbalist, all natural. And you know, actually, if uh, we look at some of the statistics from American doctors, you know, it's a shame too because, like I said, some doctors are really great and some are not. You know, it depends on who they, you know, what their, what's in their hearts. You know, they all act like they care sometimes. They don't care, you know. But the average doctor in the United States is actually, his longevity is is quite a bit less than the average population in the United States. I've seen studies where the average doctor in the United States lives to be 62. So this guy basically lived to be almost two centuries more than that, 256, according to some records. Now, it goes on to state, in 1928, a New York Times correspondent wrote that many of the old men in Lee's in that neighborhood asserted that their grandfathers knew Lee when they were boys. And at that time, he was a grown man. So, you know, talking about grandfathers, you know, 80, 90 years old, remembering him when they were small, and he was grown. So that must have mean he was over 100, you know. So he began gathering herbs in the mountain ranges at the age of 10 and began learning of longevity methods, surviving on a diet of herbs and rice wine. He lived this way for the first 40 years to live his life. In, in 1749, when he was 71 years old, he moved to, uh, I can't say that, <laughs> to join the Chinese army as a teacher of the martial arts and a tactical advisor. So, we could be herbalists and tactical advisors against the Gestapo Nazi uh, homeland security while they're absorbing negative vibes and, and shortening their lives. So, you know, there's always hope. There's always hope. You know, that's one thing I have to say. But uh, um, supposedly Lee also produced 200 descendants during his lifespan, surviving 23 wives. So I don't know what exactly what this guy did, but it's quite amazing. And, you know, it could be a little bit of an exaggerated story. But then again, it can't be too far off. Maybe 256 years is wrong, but maybe it's 197 years, as they say. Or, you know, because in here it also says that 
um, it is unlikely that he was born before the year 1810. But then I don't go into why. They don't go into why. But then looking at some of the Chinese records congratulating him on his 150th birthday back in uh, 1827 and his 200th birthday in, in, in uh, 1877, tells you probably he really did meet the age of 256. You know, actually our DNA and everything, there's so many things I went over and actually so many, th actually so many things I have not gone over where the body is always renewing all the time. And a lot of it is spiritual and mental healing. So a lot of times these control freaks in our government are actually harming their own bodies. You know, Feinstein is a case of wrinkles and so is Pelosi. So, <laughs> and, you know, there's nothing you could do about it. It's all coming from them. They, they, they emit evil spirits. So it's by emitting good vibes and good vibrations, you can maybe live as long and taking good herbs and staying away from all the genetically modified food and all that garbage. You may live as long as Li Ching Yuan. So I thought this was an interesting story, and it's actually something not known to many people. And, uh, you know, is it wrong? Is it wrong to take herbs? You know, is herbs going to make you live to be 256 years old and uh, be in good health the whole time? I don't know, but, you know, it ain't going to hurt you, is it? You know, a little bit in moderation, but a lot of it isn't just herbs. It's also positive attitude, spirituality, and getting rid of negative vibes. So sometimes, you know, you could be your own worst enemy by being too much of a pessimist. You know, I've seen studies where pessimists actually live longer. But let me put it this way. You might want to be a pessimist and um, watch out for contingencies in that way. But don't be a negative pessimist. Just watch out for contingencies. You know, in other words, don't be so happy-go-lucky that you believe the world is all going to fall in your lap every day. But, you know, his, his attitude actually had a lot... A big was a major contributor. Uh, Li Ching Yong's attitude was a major contributor to his long life, not just the herbs. So just remember, you know how that works even against our wacko politicians that want to control us and stuff. They're negative energy, and actually they're destroying your own bodies at the same time. So um, not that we should be total pacifists about it, but uh, you know this is an interesting story, and I, you know, it, it just adds more weight to the argument that. I say herbs are extremely powerful medicines and they can bring better life and more longevity and more fruitful life to everybody on this earth and uh, to stay away from the artificial. So he's living proof, or he was living proof, of over 256 years, Li Ching Yong. Pretty wild story and not many people know about it.